And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora alone. It's been a long time since we've played this deck, but it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. And with all the They Who Endure decks running around, I thought maybe this could be a good time to bring it back. We are playing just three Fiora, nothing else. Some people like to, usually whenever I see other people play this deck, they like to play some other units besides Fiora. But I think it's just more fun just to play Fiora all alone. Um, you know, there's Fiora about to face an army all alone. Um, yeah, so basically our deck here is just trying to win off of Fiora's um, win condition here of killing four enemies and then surviving. That's all we're trying to do. We're not doing 20 damage. Like that's just that's not too realistic. So that's that's our game plan is have Fiora kill four enemies. Uh, changing up a couple of things since the last time we played this, we used to play three Take Heart, three Repost, and two Harsh Winds, and so trimming those four cards. We're playing two extra Concerted Strikes. I only had one before. We're playing, and you know, it just gives us more removal with Fiora. Um, playing an additional Flash Freeze, basically just playing a third Flash. You know, instead of going two Flash Freeze, two Harsh Winds. Um, we're just going to play a third Flash Freeze because of the mana efficiency. And then also, speaking of mana, mana efficiency, getting some more one mana spells in here. Getting a Radiant Strike and a Brittle Steel. Those are the other spells that basically re replacing, instead of having everything cost three and four with, between Take Heart, Fury of the North, Repose, and Standalone, and how they're all kind of the same thing, um, you know, instead we're we're getting some, some cheaper tricks. And uh, Brittle Steel is just pretty awesome. So yeah, like it, we're our decks usually pretty good against they who endure decks because they just have a whole bunch of little units that they're just trying to throw at you and they don't mind them dying and that's that's great for Fiora and they don't have too much interaction. Now our decks usually is, you know weaker against like all the frostbite spells and so that's kind of why it went away for a while and frostbite mid range is still really big. That's what we don't want to face at all would be frostbite mid-range but we're going to try this anyway we do have a couple of their top end is a couple of judgments for the our opponents that are going wide and a couple of unyielding spirits to try to uh keep fiora alive forever and that's our deck all right so let's play some fiora alone we're gonna go play five games and see how we do Hey, Pools. So on list for tonight, we got uh, this one right here. And then we're going to play Yasuo Zed again. We played that last week. And it was uh, pretty fun, pretty impressive. So we're going to try that one again. And... Well, Sand looks pretty good. And then uh, what do we got? Spooky Teemo. That's Callista Teemo. And a Garen Shen after that. This is pretty reasonable just to keep. Gotta watch out for their Fury of the North. Good. Not the crazy start that does, you know, like millions of damage to us. And of course, we want our Fiora to take like one point of damage so that then I can take heart it. Okay, so if they have, they pass, if they have Fury of the North, I would have Elixir of Iron to protect. I never run. If they just Bile Feast their own thing or Glimpse Beyond their own thing, we are going to single combat. Keep them from drawing two cards. This will be quick. I don't know if I'd do that with Vile Feast, but definitely, definitely Glimpse Beyond. I do not want them drawing two cards. Hey, Big Alfredo. The question is, do I play take art or do I pass? Do 
don't think there's a ton of reward for me. Let's see. If I pass next turn, we have eight mana, so I will be able to take heart. And then I could have Fury of the North plus a one mana spell. So I will just pass. If they go their own Fury of the North, I may just flash freeze. No. I should be Chains Vest. I should be playing Chains Vest. Battle Fury. Huh. Okay. Not expecting that. Can certainly say not expecting that. I mean, that's my only play is the flasheries, but the problem is, is now, what do I do now? Like, this this is the problem is, like, that's my only play to do that, but now, what do I do? Okay, I draw another flash freeze. That's, that's a good call. Drawing another flash freeze. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Smart, pl smart play there, drawing a flash freeze. <laughs> Two down. Wasn't sure what my play was going to be, but I think I found the right one. Good job, Alfredo. You're ranking up with that Mono Demacia deck from yesterday. Awesome. Just gonna spend a mana and chain vest that thing while we're sitting here. Strike quickly. And so I want to do this, not the two one, because I don't want them to just vile feast their own two one, right? Like I challenge the two one, they vile feast it. I don't want that to happen. Plus is good. Such unrefined style. So I have. So if they have Fury of the North plus Vile Feast. Maybe this isn't a block I should make. Like, let's say they have Fury plus Vile Feast. Do we survive that? So I Fury, they Fury back. I Fury again. Yeah, I guess we would, because then we'd have Elixir of Iron. Right, so we so if they have double Fury of the North. Precision and grace. I don't think that's too likely they have double Fury of the North. I mean, they they probably run three Furies. No! Oh, wait. We're still good. <laughs> and strike. I got... Oh, man. That was crazy. Repost. All right. I don't know why I was worried about that for a second. So I thought that then they were going to have Vile Feast after that. And then, then I realized they had one mana. And then I relaxed. It's like, no... Okay. One and oh. When you don't have Fiora, mulligan your cards. Because we need to find Fiora. So if we don't draw Fiora, we lose. 
We don't even get to play. There's six Fioras in the deck. And we need to find one in our top... You know, 11 cards normally is what we want. So far we've seen nine no Fioras. Ten cards, no Fioras. And there it is. Fiora. Stow the Russians! Shackle the prisoners! I don't think they can kill Fiora. We speak with blades. Question is, is do I use my mana right now or not? Or do I just pass? Because if I use if I use my mana to play Take Heart, then I don't have single combat plus chain vest. I only have one or the other. Alright, bully. Okay, our Fiora's looking pretty good. We got these fight spells. All right, I'm just gonna use one of these fight spells now and just kill this powder keg. any mana left. Oh, right. Warning shot. That was bad. That was bad. Alright, so we got 10 mana now, so we have both Concerted Strikes available. Um, plus, this is 5 mana repost now, so that's kind of nice that we have 5 mana repost if we need that. Yeah, it was a greedy single combat, but feeling pretty good about our chances of winning this. Alright, GG's. Like, what's their plan there? Just unyielding spirit of 3 2? Then, then what are they supposed to do with that 3 2? Oh, their plan is. Alright, I like playing more concerted strikes like we're doing.
Yeah, just attack for three every single turn and never play another card. Guess that would be the plan. I'll mulligan this Fury of the North. I don't really mind it though. So like we have we have a Fiora. We obviously hope they don't have a super fast start, which that's not a good sign for us. We have kind of a slow one. Well, I should be playing this Intrigue, because I don't want to draw Fiora. Okay, so we didn't draw Fiora anyway, but I was going to say I should just play the Intrigue to take a Fiora out of the deck to lessen the chances of us drawing Fiora. Definitely good for us that they didn't just go, you know, put eight power into play on turn two. With Curse Keeper, Ravenous Butcher. Any way they kill my Fiora if I play it? Probably not. They and if so, I got another retreat. Awesome. Lady Elise, where are you? And I just want to use some of this mana before it goes away. Card to draw. There you are. They must all pay the so Clis is just putting a one-one into play. Obviously, I can fight right now, but if I feel like if I fight right now, they don't attack. I feel like I want them to attack. I long for a worthy opponent. We, gotta, we do have to worry about atrocity, so I can't just fire off this single combat willy-nilly without, with like atrocity going and killing us. You know, for later. It's a good card to draw. Strike quickly, strike deftly. All go. I never like challenging the one health things because of Vile Feast. So we're challenging the 3 2 or the Callista. I like getting the Callista out of here before they can atrocity Callista to kill us, or if they want to try to atrocity right now, then we single combat. Okay, so they're going Glimpse Beyond. So they could be Glimpse Beyond, bait my single combat, then atrocity, then I got a Concerted Strike, and then. Possible we lose, I guess.
They have another Blighted Caretaker. That's a lot of stuff they gotta have. For us to lose. They'd have to have Atrocity here, and then another Blighted Caretaker. Everyone's a garden. Again, vile feast. I don't like killing two ones. I don't like. I don't like going for a single combat on a two one. Do that as a last resort. <laughs> nope, I do not know the difference between the assistant regional manager and the assistant to the the regional manager. Um. Seems like a question that you'd have to ask your office at work. I never hold back. Try me. My step ladies. A new seed. Everyone's a garden. All right, so they can't have atrocity anymore. So I don't think they can have anything that saves them. Oh, obviously glimpse beyond. They can just have glimpse beyond. Right. Um. I can purify one of these. I can purify one of these things and then try to fight the other. And so that if they do have something that kills that, then then they don't have, you know, then I get to block whatever is first. Because yeah, otherwise if I let them go to combat, I, I lose to Glimpse Beyond. I wouldn't mind glimpse on. I would. I would literally lose the game if they play glimpse beyond on the, the collector. So yes, I would mind that. This is my way to not lose to glimpse beyond. This will be quick. Okay. And we two and one. Or what? Three no. What am I doing? Three now. Victory. So yeah, I do like how this deck matches up in that matchup. Like, that's that's a matchup that I'll play all day long. We're not going to win 100% of them, right? Like, you never win 100%, but this is definitely a deck that can win a high percentage against they who endure. And as we've seen, how we already got paired against they who endure two out of three times. That's a very popular deck right now. Um, I don't think it really matters which way we do it with the silence and the glimpse and the single combat, because we have to silence the other thing that we're not single combating. Unless they weren't going to have like a burst speed answer that I don't get to respond to. Whatever they whatever they do, you know, if they would have vile feast on their own thing or or glimpse beyond. 
then I would silence the other thing in response and then we'd go to combat. And we'd be able to block the, the first thing. Oh, Fiora, where are ya? Fiora, Fiora. This is the this is the tough matchup though out of the out of the popular decks. This one is a lot more difficult. Um, it's also a lot more difficult if we don't find Fiora. Okay. There's Fiora now. I can't really play Fiora right now because if I do, they can kill, they can culling strike. And I can't can't keep them from doing that. So we got to got to wait. If they have Frostbite plus culling strike, we kind of dead. Oh, we're playing against the same bully from earlier, but now they just went to the Frostbite deck just to beat us. It's mean. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Calling strikes just going to be super difficult to defeat. Nothing to hold me back. Yeah, I'm just going to save the mana. I like you know use my mana right now. I mean that's sorry that's what I mean. I'm going to use use the mana and play this right now because it doesn't doesn't help save me from frostbite plus calling strike. I just can't I just can't be calling strike at all. There's just not any plays that I can make to beat that card. We lost focus. Alright, tough matchup. That's that's the one that's the tough matchup. <laughs> yeah. GG's. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have played standalone first, I guess. The problem with not playing standalone, though, also is that you just enable Brittle Steel. And so I wanted to get away from Brittle Steel. Like, that was a, a main thinking of me playing the, the standalone and getting to 6-6 six, six, is not allowing them to have Brittle Steel, which is, you know, just an awesome card. You know, so if they want to Frostbite my 6-6, six, six, they got to be using Harsh Winds or, um, you know, have, like, Ash um, Champion Spell. Come on, how are we playing against the same person three times now? We can go to the next game. All right, should I just go to the next game? Play against somebody else? I'm just gonna go to the next game. 
Can we get paired against somebody else? I'm gonna play against the same person three times. Hopefully there's somebody else on. I'll play the same matchup again, I just want to play against somebody else. Alright, gonna mulligan the two in treats, because we already have one Fiora. To just find ways to protect our Fiora. But if there if there is you know like uh, I think there's gonna be some some card changes next week you know a week from today is whenever Call of the Mountain the next expansion releases and I think that there's supposed to be some slight card changes at the time um, if it does turn out you know that there are some card changes and if it does turn out that um, Ash Sejuani gets hurt somehow and people aren't playing as much Frostbite. But people are still playing this deck quite a bit. Could improve Fiora's stock quite a bit. It's possible. Okay, let's go Flash Freeze, Such Block, style. Put vengeance to rest. Let them eat so. Oh God. If they have Fury of the North, we got Fury of the North. I think we just match them there. Yep. Alright, so our Fiora is a 4 3. Too easy. 3 health. You know, we wish it was 4 health, but we'll work with 3. We got Elixir of Iron, not bad. with this. So I'm challenging the Bark Beast because I can purify Bark Beast and turn it into a 1-1. I was kind of hoping they would go Fury of the North. Also, they'd then be able to purify it. That would have been nice. So of course I can single combat this Neverglade Collector. I could flash freeze it and single combat and then have purify available. I long for a worthy opponent. It's a lot of work. We'll just pass turn. I'll just draw, you know, draw a card that I don't want to draw with the uh, repost. Not a card that I really you know, the Fiora, I don't want to draw that, so we'll just take that out of the deck. You 
own what you take. I cannot. You cannot purify your own Fiora because Fiora is a champion. This only sil silences followers. Hey, Matt Pop. Welcome from YouTube. Thanks for joining. This is doing a lot of damage to us. So I want to try to single combat yet. Don't really see why not. like yourself, not like the animal you are. Alright, we are... Uh, four and one. So, you know, we did lose that, that one to the Frostbite deck. Culling Strike plus Frostbite. That's a, that's a tough combination to deal with. That really is. Um, and so that's going to be a tough matchup. You don't always lose that matchup. You know, it's not an auto loss. But it's kind of like how the They Who Endure is super good for you. That one is pretty bad for you, um, matchup-wise. Um... So a nice little 4-1 for us. This is definitely the answer to They Who Endure. If, you, if you're if you getting the, the blues about, fight, about trying to fight against They Who Endure, um, give this one a try. This one is pretty sweet. All right, so that's Fiora alone. And the other reason why this deck's pretty good right now is because of the Will of Ionia nerf. That's, that's a big part. I guess I haven't really talked about Will of Ionia at all. Basically, nobody plays Will of Ionia anymore. And that was a, a card that uh, was... You know, would definitely hold this deck back uh, because all they have to do is bounce your Fiora and then you have to go try to kill four enemies again, you know, starting from scratch. And you can't, ha and there's just no answers to Will of Ionia in the deck. You know, Unyielding Spirit doesn't protect you, nothing protects you against Will of Ionia. But the good news is nobody plays Will of Ionia because nobody plays Ionia because the, the nerfs have made Ionia too weak uh, with both that and Shadow Assassin. So you don't really have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the good news. Tons of, it's just lots of Bilgewater and They Who Endure. And I think both of those decks, um, which are, you know, two incredibly popular decks, you know, just all the Bilgewater variants and, um, and the They Who Endures, I think, I think you have, uh, good matchups against both of those decks. And you know, Chain Vest is a huge card against all the They Who Endure decks, or sorry, so sorry, against all the Bilgewater decks, because they can do a bunch of like little damage everywhere so chain vest is really important all right but there we go that's fiora alone all right those of you all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments but uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video